What well, going on, FF Vibes TV? Can welcome now to another upload of another update. The review boss is back in the building. Welcome now to FF Vibes TV. Definitely, you see the thumbnail, the title. You know where we're heading with this one today. We got some news to share with you, boy. May I tell you, I don't know what's going on in this area. I don't know what I'm going about here, but you don't know what's going on. We must bring the news to the item. Definitely, when it comes to entertainment, you understand? So, definitely, today we're going to kick it off with definitely Paula Llewellyn and definitely Isaac McKenna. <laughs> Yo, FF Vibes TV, I real TV. Your review boss, bring the review them fast. Wanna make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hana nothing, hit that notification bell. You know it well. FF Vibes TV, we bring that exclusive international and local entertainment review. Now, why I say Paula Llewellyn and Isaac McCannon now? People, listen me carefully. You guys could remember when Isaac McCannon basically said that they're not gonna be a retrial. You understand? Now, I don't know if it's cap he was capping or if he's being real. Now, you know that the Privy Council has squash vibes cartel case. You understand? He don't have the third fight to life over his head anymore. So definitely, they say they sent it back to Jamaica. Definitely, so for them to do what they want to do. But at the end of the day, you understand? Although at night, Vibes Cartel supposed to go upon bail. Why they're not letting the man out? Now, Isaac Buchanan has been telling the fans out there and the Vibes Cartel supporters that there would not be a retrial whenever he's asked if they're going to be a retrial. Now, like I said before, I don't know if a cap, I don't know who I go and bro got. You understand? But this shit is crazy right now because we saw that Miss Paula Llewellyn came out definitely and she made it clear that there is going to be a retrial people people I want you guys to take a look at this and hear what Miss Paula Llewellyn had to say so by the defense that they will be appealing the decision so the trial they might, might be pushed back well you know I don't know about that there's a saying that Sorry, so that the unforensic mouth makes the talk. We will see. The court of appeal was quite clear in their directions, and the judge, his lordship, indicated that he certainly will be making his written submissions available. Mm -hmm. And as far as the court is concerned, we are to ready ourselves to commence the trial on the 15th of April. And you're ready? The crown is ready. Well, as you guys heard clearly. <laughs> Well, I me mean, I tell you, Paul Llewellyn, she definitely firing shots. You understand? <laughs> yes, this woman is going to the grave. You understand? To make sure she make Vibes Cartel suffer behind bars. You understand? Now, this is what I'm saying. It's like, they don't have no heart. It has to be something. It, it, it can, what could it really be so bad? I see people that did more serious crimes and more serious murders than this you understand two three four bodies then take one time in these things and they get a chance to walk after certain years now vibes cartel have been incarcerated for a couple years well people you understand why they are not letting the artists go what is it really you understand this this shit is crazy this shit is definitely crazy but i want you guys to leave your comments below, let me know what you think about this with what Miss Paula Llewellyn has just said. As you hear, the 15th of April, they will be going forward with the retrial people. This is out of the horse's mouth. Everybody do want, everybody hearing Isaac McKenna when him saying that they're not going to be a retrial, they're not going to be a retrial. But what? No. Mm, it kind of sticky though. Why well, may I tell you? Anyway, Gaza fans, who don't know the code, who don't hold it up, you don't know the ball game, you already understand, yeah, man. Continue the ball game, continue the cash up. Definitely Occupy Mind. Let's talk about Occupy Mind. And we're talking about a man called I don't, you know. A lot of persons was wondering, even to myself, was wondering what's up, what's the stats with I don't, you know, and his album Occupy Mind. Now, as you guys could see on the screen, people, they're showing you clearly that. Occupy Mind sold 100 copy in the US during to the first week according to data approved to WMV by Luminate. The album released on December the 8th did not record any significant streams in the US during the two 
sorry, in the last two weeks, Luminate said. As a result, they did not make the weekly billboard charts. Now, as you guys seen clearly there, boy, I'm mean, tell you, Occupy Mind eliminately released independently Visa Banga House Music Group. You understand? Only featuring Governor on the single Thug Love. Boy, I'm mean, gonna tell you, so this is the stats that's going on with definitely with Idonia um, Occupy Mind, as you guys could see. Single from the album um, charts on Apple Music in several countries across the Caribbean. Feet packed at number 22 in Jamaica, 66 in St. Vincent and the Grenadine, 98 in St. Kitts and Nevis, and 99 in the Cayman Island, and 69 position in Jamaica on Desiree daily charts you understand cha cha god well you guys heard it people that's what's going on with idonia and his album conscious mind may i tell you already i know big up to everybody that definitely supported the artist by purchasing his album i you know anything already if you want to purchase it you want to make sure to purchase it because you just heard the caribbean islands that um the album is in the charts with you understand yeah man like we told you already i know yeah it's crazy like that so you don't know the code drop those comments let me know what you think you understand anyway continue the ball game continue the kasha now people you definitely heard what's going on with bujo bantan son right now and every day different um information is coming forward to the internet and it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier now you guys heard that this guy was um a gay allegedly and had some other gay friend that took his life allegedly that was circulating around the internet and that was the word in the streets but i'm going to say allegedly over here now it get no stick here because we haven't heard anything from um Bujo Bantan himself came out and said nothing about this youth man that you're seeing on the screen right now that he's hugging that's his son that passed away in the states you understand now it's crazy because I heard his next son that is sing, I forgot what his name. I um I think I saw a photo with his eye bung up or something like that. I gotta really get this to bring it forward. I don't know what's going on. We hear that Bujo Bantan beat his next song because he came on um alive and display something or say some stuff and it wasn't really his liking, Bujo liking allegedly, we don't know. But this female came out of nowhere, people and this female definitely came out and say some things and guys not tell no lie it's crazy you understand you got to hear what the female says so let's take a listen to what this female had to say about this is such a hard thing for me i'm not gonna lie i said i wasn't gonna do this but i have to and if you see me breaking down into tears please don't say nothing just listen this has to be a very quick video but Buju Bantan, I'm going to call you out today. I'm going to call you out big time and I'm going to call out every other musician who do the same thing. Stop having your children them all over the place and leaving your kids at the whim of the fucked up world that we live in. Stop it. You know, I'm so sorry guys. But I met this kid. My son brought Miles to my house. Miles lived in my house for two months. And that might have been the best two months of my life. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I, would, I was going to do this. I said, I got to do this. I have to do it. Miles lived with me for two months. My son saw him. I don't know the backstory too much. But he was out in the street homeless. My son brought him home. And I made him stay with us. For two months, I gave him two months, and I say, within that time, you know, him could have patch up back with him family and go back home. My household is in transition. I'm getting ready to move out of my house and move to another state. So I gave him two months. Last week, Thursday before this little boy died, and he came back to my house to pick up him things because the two months was up. It wasn't well. He never looked well. He did not look well. <laughs> he did not. 
and I decided that I would not leave, let him leave the house in the condition that he was in with the stuff that he was carrying and I had his brother I think this is when I had a Buja Bantan son I had his brother on the phone and I was talking to them and telling them about Miles and I said to them he don't look good right now he need to get Baker off him he need to go to the mental hospital he need to get he need help and I convinced them to come pick him up them come pick him up last week Thursday or Friday from my house they pick up miles from my house and I advised them I said and I really thought I was doing the right thing when I released him to them I said he need help and they picked him up and they did not take him to the hospital I don't know what happened from the time I released him to them because I refused to let him walk in the streets I said I think it's better if you pick him up because it's a chance of you not burying him if you go to the mental hospital. You understand? And then pick up the youth. And I don't know what it is. A typical Jamaican people think. They, they probably fuss with him and argue with him and they have a fight and he left. They pick up miles from my house. And I advised them. I said, and I really thought I was doing the right thing when I released him to them. I said, you need help. And they picked him up and they did not take him to the hospital i don't know what happened from the time i released him to them because i refused to let him walk in the streets i said i think it's better if you pick him up because it's a chance of you not burying him if you go to the mental hospital you understand and then pick up the youth and I don't know what it is, a typical Jamaican people think. They, they probably fuss with him and argue with him and they have a fight and he left. And that little boy left and go back on the street. Mind you, me give them to the, me give the you to them. Me give him to them. Me them pick him up and watch them pick him up from my yard. Okay? You know one nice truck. They were supposed to take him to the hospital. They already knew he was troubled. They knew he had issues. This is the kid who they said been in and out of Juby, Juby, been in and out of hospital. Would you son? Would you, you send them to go pick up your son from, from Graham and New York? And you never bring your son home to you to Jamaica. You did not bring your son home to Jamaica. Use Bujo. If you don't have the money, you could have borrowed it and get a one way ticket for your son. To spare your son life. You didn't do it. And you need to be held accountable for these kids. You understand? I gave this kid to them. They pick him up. And they did not do their due diligence. They knew the true variables about this kid. And they did not take him to the hospital. They did not take him to get help. You understand? And the kid go back, they release him back from the street. And the very time they release that kid, the kid get killed. It's the Kyoto Street of Betty Food. Begging, Buju son. Buju son. They punch with a bag and lose him life from begging for food. Begging for hungry from the street. Your son, Bujo. You could have done better. You could have done better. And I'm going to post this. You could have done better. You understand? You could have done better, Bujo. You sent for your son from New York because he was in trouble. You should have brought him home to you as a father. You should. You should have bring us home with your son home. What kind of father you is? It's wickedness. Now everybody's mourning. You're mourning. You're mourning. This is so bad. Fresh drop. This is so bad. And nobody can tell me and prove me wrong. I had that kid at my house for two months. I gave him two months. Oh my God. In campus. He knows. He knows. He knows he's going to post. He didn't give a fuck about the kid. He sent his other son to pick up the kid from wherever he was in New York because the kid was already troubled. And he did not bring him home to him. What kind of man is you? Oh my God! I 
didn't ask for this. Okay? I have children. My son saw him in the street. Okay? He told him a story about his hardship. And my son bring him home. I kept him for two months. Up until he died. He's not gonna post. He's not. Because he did not give a fuck about that young man's life. Because if he did, he would have brought him to fucking Jamaica. Well, as you guys just heard what the lady just said, John, hey, may I tell you, Rastana? It's sticky. Like them always say, them have two sides of a story. So, you know, it thing go already. A lot of persons hearing what people are speculating, but is not hearing what's really going on. Now, this lady come forward and she definitely said some things whereby you guys heard that. Mm -hmm. This woman know the son, yeah, Bujo Bantan son, the same guy and the youth that passed away that you're seeing on the screen right now, people. Man, I tell no lie, it's crazy. Understand? Once again, we want to say condolence goes out to Bujo Bantan and the entire family for this. But you guys heard that Bujo could have do something about it. The lady said he didn't, and she specifically mentioned that um, she and one of Bujo Bantan's son was on the phone speaking now it lead back to Bujo Bantan's son that got his face bung up and people are I'm allegedly saying that he was beaten by his father Bujo Bantan we don't know what's going on but it, it add up in a way because he came out and he spoke about this same young man that you're seeing here and after spoken, um, speaking about this young man the, the altercation happened that's what we hear in your understand so it's kind of crazy <sighs> i tell you one thing from the next thing sometimes you hear some artist story you know want to know but you guys leave your comments below let me know what you think about this man you know what i mean it's crazy like that anyway continue the ball game continue the cash before we leave here we see where by 50 cent post this on his instagram people <laughs> now you guys know 50 cent and the man called Puff Daddy is going at it definitely, you understand? And has been going at it for a very long time. This is not nothing now. You understand? 50 Cent has been trolling and definitely throwing whole heap of things at Puff Daddy. And since this um, whole um, raid on Puff Daddy um, premises and his house and his, his, his mansions and so forth and the last suits and all these things of human trafficking and all these fucking, you know what I mean? You know, 50 Cent does that indulge in fucking wrong um sean combs pdd so as you guys could see on the screen it says sirak not looking to replace dd with 50 cent as brand ambassador now it looked like this is what inside of the arm now you know that sirak i think um dd is controlling sirak whatever the case is um, he's a party he's an ambassador of it so obviously he must be trolling 50 cents with this so obviously this is in the um it's on the internet and 50 cents reposted whereby he said um i own my own no, i'm sorry i own my brand i won't be an ambassador for sorak i haven't seen anybody drink that shit literally it's over laugh out loud you understand <laughs> Now leave your comments below, let me know what you think. When last you guys saw um, people drink Sorak, um, Sorak still still drinking in the clubs? I don't know. Uh, I was never a Sorak fan, you understand? But you know the code already. Anyway, this is where we got to pull the curtains down. Hope you had a fantastic time. Please, please, if you watch the content so far, give the video a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Put your post notification bell so you'll be notified all the time. And leave a comment with all that said and done, my people. You're done the review fast. You bring the review fast. It's a pleasure being here with you. Until next time, we out. <laughs>